Hello everyone. This session is continuation of CNC programming, which was my previous session on how to write a CNC program by using preparatory and miscellaneous functions, which are indicated with G and M codes. Now I would like to give some clarification where I, in the previous session, I have written some code, a skeleton model of how to write a part programming computer aided product programming okay so now coming to cnc programming i have taken a simple sketch in my previous session to explain other than that i would like to show whenever there is a component with fillets of clockwise and counterclockwise directions for example there is a fillet somewhere here of this kind okay if this is the case here is the origin i try to explain you how a radius is considered when it comes to writing a program okay so if this is the direction or moment of the tool this becomes a clockwise moment where the command is g02 uh, and this is counterclockwise movement where the command is g03 all right when this is the case here the center would be somewhere here the center of this particular curve is somewhere here all right uh, this is x direction this is y x and y directions or distances okay now while writing a program what we'll try to do in the previous session what i explained you is like we'll specify g02 followed by x value, y value and r radius, whatever r given to this particular curve, r is equal to some value will be given to you. So a few machines will work with only radius, okay, few Fanuc machines are there, few other machines are also there where they will consider this radius r, okay, simply g command whether it is clockwise or counterclockwise followed by x value, y value and whatever the r distance given will the tool will accordingly follow the path. Okay, this is what I have discussed in my previous session. But there is one more way where few machines will not understand this radius. Okay, these radius will not be understood by some machines. So in that scenario, what we'll try to do is we'll try to See, like for example, the tool is traveled linearly from here to this point, this point where let us say the tool is somewhere here. Okay, it need to travel in a clockwise direction which is G02. That is a command. G02 followed by whatever the X and Y coordinates, X, Y coordinates of this point. Okay, followed by I value, J value are important we need to give these i and j values which are more and more important for few cases okay so how to represent this i j that is more important what is i j that is also more important now so let us define i just try to define i and j now if this is a starting point okay now the definition is the distance the distance from starting point of the tool to the center of the curve is nothing but i or else j for both the cases the distance from the distance from starting point of the tool to the center of the curve this is the center of the curve the starting point of the tool it need to travel all around clockwise direction till this particular coordinate okay so starting point to the center starting point to the center as you could see the direction this is this represents x this distance represents x okay there is no y direction there is no y direction starting point to the center definition is the distance from starting point of the tool to the center of the curve so this distance is x this is equal to some value will be given to you that could be 10 radius 5 radius 15 radius okay based on that what we will try to do so uh, then x represents this particular x represents i and y represents jth term okay so starting point to the center this is x distance so this represents i 
okay for example here is the tool cutting tool is somewhere here same definition applicable let me change the color and show you so that you understand here is the cutting tool now let me to travel from this point to this point which is counterclockwise direction g03 is the command let us say the tool is traveling in this way count clockwise direction then the tool has to travel this path also then the case is uh, the command become g02 followed by x value y value of this coordinate followed by ij value has to be given what is ij again the same definition ij is the distance from starting point of the tool to the center of the curve or the arc starting point of the tool this is the starting point this is the center this direction represents y if this is y this is the representation of j all right so it all depends if you whenever you measure a distance from starting point of the tool to the center if it is if it is measuring x distance uh, the indication is we are supposed to represent i if it is measuring y distance we are supposed to represent j okay whenever the tool is traveling in counterclockwise direction have a look when 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 i consider this as the starting point and this as center of the curve this is x distance i so i will have some value j will be no not this case for the first one i will have some value j will be zero so if it is a clockwise direction if this is the starting point of the tool and center of the curve which represents y y is equal to j now j will have some value i will be zero remember okay so we are trying to replace this r r nothing but the radius we are trying to replace the radius with what with i and j term few machines will not accept r few machines are designed in such a way where we need to represent i and j terms then only to understand okay if this is the center accordingly do the cutting action all right so try to remember these two the definition is it is defined as defined as distance from starting point of the tool to the center of curve I'll try to understand so this is common for both this is common for both uh, i and j this definition okay so if the starting point is here then i need to measure x which represents i if the starting point is here i need to measure y which is which represents j okay that will change here and there it all depends similarly for this case also that is the thing that is the main point you are supposed to remember uh, uh, that this is the main point i would like to mention this is very much important to understand all right other than things everything is same like we need to represent each and every coordinate first then followed by this when you travel g linear g01 circular whether it is clockwise or counter clockwise based on that we give the command again from here to this point it is g01 again it is going in a counter clockwise direction g03 again linear g01 this is also g01 so at every vertex you need to calculate what is x what is y accordingly you have to plan your program okay followed by all uh, uh, whatever what you call g and m codes based on that program has to be written okay the main idea uh, is like few people had many doubts on uh, using this radius and uh, this i term j term uh, so that is the reason i uh, i am giving this particular simple lecture only for the reason how to replace this radius with i and j term okay anything anything of this kind or any doubts of this type uh, when it comes to programming you can comment in the box uh, given below so that i can answer you okay thank you